Jesus H. Christ. Martha, for God's sake. Oh, you... George. I'm sorry, but... What a cluck. What a cluck you are. It's late, you know. Late. What a dump. <laughs> hey, what's that from? What a dump. How would I know what... Oh, come on. What's it from? You know. Martha. What's it from, for Christ's sake? What's what from? I just told you. I just did it. What a dump. Huh? What's that from? I haven't the faintest idea. Oh, dumbbell. It's from some goddamn Betty Davis picture, some goddamn Warner Brothers epic. I can't remember all the pictures that. Nobody's asking you to remember every single goddamn Warner Brothers epic. Just one, one single little epic. Betty Davis gets peritonitis in the end. She's got this big black fright which she wears all through the picture and she gets peritonitis and she's married to Joseph Cotton or something. Somebody. Somebody. And she wants to go to Chicago all the time because she's in love with that actor with the scar, but she gets sick. What actor? What scar? I can't remember his name for God's sake. What's the name of the picture? I want to know what the name of the picture is. She sits down in front of her dressing table and she's got this peritonitis and she tries to put her lipstick on, but she can't. And she gets it all over her face but she decides to go to Chicago anyway. Chicago. It's called Chicago. Huh? What? What? What is? The picture. It's called Chicago. Oh, good grief. Don't you know anything? Chicago was a 30s musical starring Little Miss Alice Faye. Don't you know anything? Well, that must have been before my time. Oh, can it? Just cut that out. This picture, Betty Davis comes home from a hard day at the grocery store. And she, the grocery store? she's a housewife, she buys things. And she comes home with the groceries and, and she walks into the modest living room of the modest cottage, they're modest. Married? Yes, they're married to each other, cluck. And she comes in with the groceries and she looks around and she puts the groceries down and she says, what a dump. Oh. Well, she's discontent. Oh. Well, what's the name of the picture? I really don't know, Martha. Well, think. I'm tired, dear. It's late. And besides... I don't know what you're so tired about. You haven't done anything all day. You didn't have any classes or anything. Well, I'm tired. Okay? If, if it wasn't for your father and his goddamn Saturday night orgies all the time... Well, that's too bad about you, George. Well, that's how it is. Anyway... You didn't do anything. You never do anything. You never mix. You just sit around and talk. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to act like you? Do you want me going around all night braying at everybody? I don't bray. All right. You don't bray. I do not bray. All right. I said you didn't pray. Make me a drink. What? I said, make me a drink. <clears throat> well, I don't suppose a nightcap will kill either one of us. A nightcap? Are you kidding? We've got guests coming. We've got what? Guests. Guests. Guests? 
Yes, guests with people. We've got guests coming over. When? Now. Good Lord, Martha. You know what time? Who? Who's coming over now? What's their name? Who? What's their name? Who? What's their name? I don't know what their name is, George. You met them tonight. They're new. He's in the math department or something. Ooh. Who are these people? You met them tonight, George. I don't remember meeting anyone tonight. Well, you did. Will you give me my drink, please? He's in the math department. About 30, blonde, tall. Good looking. Yes, good looking. It figures. And his wife's a mousy little type without any hips or anything. Oh. Do you remember them now? Yes, sort of, Martha, but why in God's name are they coming over here now? Because daddy said we should be nice to them. That's why. Oh, Lord. May I have my drink, please? Daddy said we should be nice to them. Thank you. Yes, but I mean, it's nearly two o'clock in the morning and- Because daddy said we should be nice to them. Yes, fine, but I'm sure your father didn't mean that we should spend all night with these people. I mean, we could have had him over for Sunday or something. Well, never mind. Besides, it is Sunday, very early Sunday. I mean, it's ridiculous. Well, it's done. <laughs>